Rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Futile? You know, a waste, useless, pointless. Oh. Um, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? No, I, I haven't. What is it? In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, 
a novel was published. It was called Utility. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and sinking. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. It was almost as if he'd seen the whole thing happen. But this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Hmm. But that's not all. It wasn't just futility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886, and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but... I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But, what if Stead had some sort of special powers? To be more specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you... Are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit, and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? Yes. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. But Jumpy, you said you believe in curses. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. <laughs>
I think we've been here before. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Now, Route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door 5, one of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... Route D, then. D it is. Yep, Route D. Then we're set. Everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought, D-Deck is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C-Deck. Hmm, what else is here? There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. Just like the floor above. Hold on, these are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Another strange mark. Hey, look! It's Lotus's symbol! Huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. That seems like... Oh! Ouch! 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 What was that about the mark again? Uh, uh nothing. <laughs> this is a Mercury symbol. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes' staff. Hermes, herpes, whatever. If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them. All right. Let's start with this one. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? What, what the hell is this? This place is huge. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is... is this a hospital? It definitely has the smell. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven.
and the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt, they're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? That seems kind of strange, don't you think? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, it's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh, yeah. You're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. not responding. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? None of them are working. What does it mean? <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Snake! Ace! Clover! Seven! How? How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. There you have it. Our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case? You're right. Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War 
One began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh... This ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh... I mean, I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, 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 whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back? Yeah. Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? Huh, a bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Eleven. Twelve. Uh, twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Hmm? Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, just maybe? Hmm. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? <sighs> Come on, guys, who was it? 
I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... he couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right. I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. I'll see you all later. All right. We should go, too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. How about the casino on B-Deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. The digital root for those four would be 1. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. 
I don't think you do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, hidden but an, an exit, exit can, can be found. found. Seek, Seek a way, a way out. out. Seek, Seek a door, a door that, that carries, carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right, where should we go next? Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. Are you all right? <laughs> look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... Long. Long. Hmm? Hmm? I said leave me alone! You're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off! Go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Uh, um... Why are you still here? Did you hear me? Uh... Huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? How about the casino? Let's go take a look. There's no one here. Let's try somewhere else. Let's go back downstairs and check out that hallway with all the doors. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover... Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. 
<sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Where should we go next? Let's go take a look around the casino. Okay, let's go. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, why don't we go back to the big hospital room? Sure, let's go. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Well, uh, it seems like it would have to be Snake, wouldn't it? Maybe he got back here before any of us. He found the parts somewhere, put them back, and then went through one of the numbered doors. No, it's not possible. You have to authenticate with at least three people, or the Red won't open the door. There's no way a single person could get through there by themselves. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> that snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be 378. What's the digital root for that? 3 plus 7 plus 8 is 18, so add 1, 8, 9. Exactly. But door 9 isn't here. 
right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is... You should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up! What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. Alright, that's one vote four. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, uh. Hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. 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 <sighs> Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? 
We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven! Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be! Right, Jumpy? Say something! Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something! I'm alright. How are you alright? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms. I thought it might be useful... later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I... Tell you, I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! <sighs> uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. Right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. Alright, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? Bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight? No, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A, have three, five, and eight go through door seven, and four, six, seven go through door eight. Option B, four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Option C, Three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. 
Those are the only three options. That's it. At least, if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means... Five and six can never be on the same team. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. <sighs> Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind to die. So what are you gonna do? Seven or eight, time to choose. Okay, okay, fine. I'll go with door seven. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. All right then, that means June's gotta go through eight. Huh? Why? Ugh, Junpei, you figured it out, right? Can you explain it to her? Okay, so, June, if we want all six of us to go through a door... Oh no! You're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <sighs> hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. It's open. Let's do this! Hurry! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? Only 81 seconds left! No time to waste, guys! Let's get moving! Stopped. It stopped. <laughs> this is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Whew, you never really get used to it. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. What? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare- You have no- <laughs> You little- You wanna die?! I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. It's not going to do us any good. <laughs> hmm. Gosh. Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here. And an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door's the only option we've got, right? 
Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door. On that iron plate. It says operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Uh -huh. What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! <laughs> Clover! Hey, what's wrong? What the hell is this? Is... is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A... D doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Oh, what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more... personal uses? <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing.
Thank <laughs> you. 